An EF1 tornado caused major damage to a church in St. Charles Parish this weekend, but just as quickly as the storm left, volunteers came to help. Sam Woodstrom reports. Tarps, box sands, and generators. St. John the Baptist Church in Parity hoped they'd heard the last of them, but after an EF1 tornado hit them this weekend, the church is back in recovery mode. The square one, you know, uh, we just repaired the rectory and uh, and the office, and um, and then we are get ready for for this uh, for for the roof here and the inside, and then uh, back to the square one. Father Joseph Vienne had been living in a trailer outside the rectory since Hurricane Ida. Saturday's tornado took that temporary home away from him, but in the days since. Parishioners have rallied around Father Joseph and the church. When you have a deep faith and a, a close community, you do these things because you want to rebuild. There's debris to be cleared, roofs to be covered, and water damage to clean. But at the top of Janice Dufresne's list is finding a new space to host mass. If he's around, he's able, we'll have mass, like you said, through flashlights and open doors. We suffer the heat or the cold. But and the people do come. In the days after the storm, mass was held inside the church by lamp and flashlights. But with the ceiling caving in, they needed to move. That led them to the rectory. The building has been under repair since Hurricane Ida and may finally be ready to host the community thanks to the hard work of people like Dufresne. It's not what you get out, it's what you put in. And if you go with the intention to, you know, you're greeting the Lord or you're talking to the Lord in your heart, he's going to talk back to you. Sam Winstrom. Eyewitness News.